Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus who are you who are you what have you done to her how did you enter her through her husband how many of you are in this body what have you done to our marriage 10 years in the mighty name of Jesus Holy Ghost fire in Jesus mighty name fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you unclean spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you have no place in this body and right now I command you in the mighty name you come back come back come back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ she belongs to Jesus Christ she doesn't belong to you does she what did you say I'll stay with her she doesn't belong to you she belongs to Jesus Christ she gave her life to Jesus Stop Christ it. does she belong to you she likes you I hate her because of that Why she do you follows you she follows you she follows you every time she wants and to what come. is wrong with that because you are a true man of God and I hate you and why do you hate me because you worship God in true spirit you seek God with all your heart and I hate that are you from the light or from the darkness your clean spirit which kingdom do you belong to the light or to the darkness I am from the darkness you're from the darkness what is your name I'm not gonna tell you what have you done to her what have you done to her finances and to her health she's nothing I took all her money she cannot have nothing what you do to her career she wants to study she wants to move up but I don't let her she wants who's to the cause of setback in her life me you are generational curses generational curses yes what else is in that body yes what else is in that body we are many you are many yes you got rid of one yes who's number one who's number two who's number two who's number three setback who's number four I'm not telling you Jesus commands you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm a lying spirit. You're a lying spirit. Yes. I don't like you. Thank Get you. Away. Get what away from me. She likes you so much. I don't like you. Your time no. has expired no. in her body. No. You unclean spirit. You tormented her long enough. Today is her day of freedom. And today is your day of defeat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and right now I command you in Jesus name out out fire fire why do you want me to stop why do you want me to stop I cannot let her go you cannot let her go why because she's gonna bring all the generational curses everybody's gonna get delivered in her family so that's why you're holding her yes that's why you're holding her yes. you wicked spirit no you know that God has a destiny for her no. No. no and that's why you're leaving right now out in the name of Jesus Christ you generational curses lose your grip off of her you unclean lying spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ fire 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 in Jesus mighty name fire in Jesus mighty name fire in Jesus mighty name that's it that's it that's it because of Christ I declare you free in Jesus mighty name you're free in Jesus name Catherine thank you so much for being bold and testifying for the glory of God please tell us where are you from and what was the thing that brought you here for the prayer line uh, I'm originally from India but we travel me and my husband and our three kids travel from North Carolina and uh, the reason we came for this conference is because uh, I got tired of everything because I've ha since I was a kid I had to battle every time. It's always a fight. Uh, you can't see it but I, I felt it all the time. Even my marriage was the biggest struggle with my husband. And uh, st uh, financially I was, uh, my family, in my background, we financially we always have financial problems. It was always like we have to work hard, we, couldn't, we didn't have enough. 
So that was, and then education. I wanted to study for a long time. There was always something blocking me. Some, always some problems would come in my life. So I couldn't go any further, and I just felt like, you know, I couldn't do it. But the one thing I realized through all that struggle, I got closer to God. And, uh, and I started seeking him more. And the more I seeked him, the more I seeked him, uh, you know, the more uh, I understood, you know, what God is, what Holy Spirit is. And, and the Holy Spirit kept giving me strength in every situation. I felt like I wanted to give up. But Holy Spirit, uh, you know, would always speak to me and tell me that, that I, you know, I'm with you and I will take care of you. Don't worry. And now... Uh, <laughs> Okay, let me take, take a breath. <laughs> so going through all the setback um, and generational curses, I know you've mentioned to me that all your family, they have broken apart marriages and struggling with poverty and things like that, setback after setback. And would you please share with all of us, how did you come to know Jesus Christ, first of all, before we go into your deliverance? Yeah, sure. Uh, I came from a culture, a religion, you know, I, I was born and raised as a Catholic, but I was, you know, I was worshiping all different gods, believing that that was normal and all gods are, you know, the same. That's what I grew up knowing. But then when I came to United States, you know, I believe God had that plan set up because I used to worship different gods. And uh, one lady, one, one of the ministers, she told me one day, do you know you are serving uh, demons? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. And then she said, no, you are serving other God. And uh, God is a jealous God. And you are a Catholic. And you believe in Jesus. So do you think God likes that you're serving other God? I said, uh, not uh, that I know of. And then she said, that's one of the commandment. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start worshiping this other gods and I'm going to test Jesus. And I did. I did. And um, what year was that when you received Jesus Christ? Oh, wow. That year, 2003. 2003, I, I gave my life to Christ with all my heart. And uh, it's not been the same. And, uh, and, what I, where I see myself right now and I look back, I'm like, I'm glad I made that decision. I'm glad that uh, I, I see God. Now I'm on fire for Him and I'm ready to save the world. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. We're happy that you received Jesus Christ. Now, concerning your deliverance, yesterday we watched your uh, deliverance and you uh, evil spirits speaking out through you and stuff that you told me that you don't even like remember half of that stuff. How do you uh, feel right now after your deliverance? Like a bird, <laughs> free, <laughs> liberated. And I mean, I just enjoy every moment. I, this was the biggest struggle I was having before the deliverance. Um, I, I was having trouble praying and always I had these thoughts coming to my mind, negative thoughts. I would try to pray and battle it, but everything, I, every time I tried to pray, it was like something stopping me. If I'm praying, I would get sleepy, I would feel tired. I mean, I just felt well, like I would get anxiety attacks at times. It was very tough, but after the deliverance, I mean, when I go and kneel down and I start my praise and worship, I'm in the spirit already. I just don't have to wait like long time and, you know, all that thing we used to go through when we start, you know, start praying in the beginning. But now it's, everything is easy and I just, I don't know, I feel like I want to share more and more and more with everybody else. Just pour that same love what God poured in my life. Come on, that is so awesome. What about your relationship with your husband now? Tell us. Oh, yes. That's, the, that's a big one. So I noticed that, you know, my husband also was in the prayer line with me. And uh, somewhat reason, you know, the problems which my grandparents, uh, my grandmother, my auntie, my mom were having marriage problems. I saw the we got a little bit more, not a little bit, like we were more closer. Now if I tell him something, he wouldn't get mad. He would be like okay, I got this, and he's like more cool about it, and I don't have to like uh, 
get mad at him. I don't get angry anymore about, you know, anything what he's saying. I just said, let's chill. Just let's, we can handle that. That's okay. But, and he, he's been more loving to me and uh, he would listen. That was the biggest problem. And I, now I don't have to worry about all that. Come on, you guys, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We're so happy for your breakthrough. We know it's only been one day, but we believe that God will restore your marriage, restore your relationships, restore your finances, your career and things like that. And we're just so excited for you. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.